Hi guys, Eugene Cousins doing another update on some of the latest technology coming from Nirvana. Today I've got the Nirvana Ranger on my back and I'm really proud to have one of these. This is actually the first one that's rolled off the assembly line and it's, uh, it's a machine that's been designed by taking some of the best points of the Nirvana Instinct and combining it with some of the best points of the sturdy rodeo Nirvana that a lot of people have come to love over the years. Now in Nevada Ranger, just to go quickly over a couple of some of the features, it's got a one start stop ignition throttle, the economic throttle that's on the new Nirvana Instinct and the reason why this is so important is because for us bush pilots in Africa we want it to be able to land in small spaces. And if you can overshoot that landing zone, you want to be able to restart your engine and try again. You don't want to be coming in with a prop spinning, whether you're running a gearbox on that or not, because if you trip or fall, you, you fall with your hand on the ignition, the prop's going to start turning again and you chop up your frame. With a little bit of Sean Zeppelin, on the Hadron X6, we're going to maintain a power, spiral, a power on spiral. Get out of the thermal hot spot. There we go. Tighten up the helmet. Because we're going to be pulling some jeans. Now let's do it. Now let's go. Fantastic! Once yeah. more with the camera facing forward. Woohoo! All right, you are going to get an insane fly, an insane fly right? Even the four, four RPM right now. You know what kind of time it's going to give me. It turns a little bit open. In the 200 feet, still minutes. 415. 500. 500 feet, still minutes. 500 feet, still minutes. Well, the shrimp's open. <laughs> hey, we'll be in this machine. And we do. Okay. That pretty much covers the, uh, the Nevada Ranger. You will enjoy this machine at 25 kilos. Got a very nice sense of high sense of gravity. Uh, not as big, not as long machine as the, the Instinct. But it's got a stronger flame. So you'll get away with a couple of uh, bumps and bruises if you uh, mess up your landings or your takeoffs, uh, especially when you're flying the hadron. Whoa! So in terms of traffic control, there, guys, yapping in my ear. Uh, all right, I'm gonna bring machine in for landing. Door switch. Got a lot of servos to deal with. So turn the camera around and show you the 25 knot landing with flaps open on the uh, with the flaps open on the Hadron X6. Here we go. And this is the hillside landing, which is not my favorite. It's going to shake and bake, baby. Cutting the engine. You get out of the seat. And you can see it speeding up. Oh! There we go. <sighs> All right. That was a uh, a tough film hotspot landing, which. Is, uh, is possible to do with the Hadron X6's uh, extra energy that it gives with that fast landing so you can control, going a little bit uphill, control that balloon and put it down. 
but uh, not ideal flying conditions. But still, the Navarro Ranger is tough. It gives me a lot of leg room because it sits so high on my shoulders. The only drawback, I would say, is the 10-liter tank. If you are doing long cross-country flights, you'd still enjoy the Nirvana Instinct. You'll get more speed out of your Hadron XX trims open because it's got the, the, the twist air system which uh, eliminates the torque and you don't have to try and compensate or trim out the, uh, um, the effective torque uh, on your machine. So uh, what else is there which I can say is a big benefit uh, between the two different machines? Uh, not really much, though. You know what? I won't sell my Instinct for the world. I love that machine. It's got the 130 size prop. It's got an enormous amount of power. I still enjoy the carbon fiber machine. I wouldn't give it up for the world. But I still enjoy my Ranger as well. And I'm kind of finding that I'm flying my Ranger more than I'm flying my Instinct just because it's such an easy package. It's small. It's comfortable. And most of the time, I don't fly more than two and a half hours, and I'm getting that out of this package deal. So really, really great package altogether. I'm going to put the machine down, uh, take off the helmet, just run you over some of the uh, the outside features of the machine, the color scheme, the harness, etc. Cool. All right, guys, just running you past the Nirvana Ranger, giving you a look or two at what the machine looks like. Got the... Uh, 230cc engine which you all recognize from the, the the Nirvana Instinct Highline you've got the three-bladed pulse prop system uh, this is the first machine to come off the assembly line so it didn't come with the stainless steel exhaust but currently for all my clients I'm ordering the stainless steel exhaust um, which is uh, obviously uh, gonna help you out so you don't get so much corrosion now the airbox this is a fantastic ad um, addition to it instead of the rodeo uh, filter that you had on the side you now have heat being directed from the exhaust uh, through the airbox and that'll help you with uh, a de-icing problem when you're flying in low temperatures now from what i understand i wasn't part of the the cold temperature test flights but they're flying in minus temperatures and it is a fantastic addition to do that so you can take the machine travel with it and fly in very cold places but have the ability to go fly them in in 40 degrees celsius days like uh like the one we just uh been flying in right now all right so you've got the rodeo cage the 125 cage it is smaller than the instinct you have you're supposed to have less power but this is kind of like a mind-boggling thing right now that we are experiencing because we're getting 7500 rpm or so out of the ranger and it's doing really well with my big customers we were looking at you know 100 105 to 110 kilogram guys and it pushes them up like the the the, the coyote strapped to an acne rocket it is just mind-boggling the the lift they're getting the power that they're getting out of this machine so the NS 230 machine is really fantastic it will use more fuel than the instinct I think the development that's got into the instinct will give you that three to three and a half liter fuel use Whereas the range is going to give you a tad more, about 500 mils, uh, uh, milliliters uh, per hour more usage, uh, and you only have the 10 liter tank. So be aware that you are buying a machine that's going to give you about a two to two hour, 20 minute range, instead of the the, the instinct that just <laughs> keeps on going forever. All right, then. Um, You've got the Instinct Harness in a camo color, very nice, very popular with, uh, with customers in South Africa. You've got the radio holder, which is fantastic because the radio is out of your way. And the fantastic new FC5 plug helmet combination. It is fabulous, I can tell you that guys. You can manage flying in airspace. Uh, here in South Africa we can fly and join in with, with uh, other fixed wing aircraft, join the airspace, share the airspace. and uh, most of the time we've got better communication than they have all right you got your one start stop ignition and that audio alarm you're hearing well that is a really important feature because a lot of guys forget to disconnect their batteries and this machine after like two or three minutes the audio alarm goes off and reminds you to disconnect the battery so right there disconnect the battery and the audio alarm goes off so all, all in all you've got a great package with a reserve chute at the bottom now that is important for cross-country pilots, guys that are going to be flying over canyons and 
big five country and dangerous areas do not be fooled by the propaganda that you hear from some competitors that say you don't need a reserve chute you don't need electric start from a fixed wing, a fixed wing pilot to coming to the world of PPG I like the redundancies I like the redundancies so much so that I prefer flying PPG over aircraft because if you get a bird strike over big five country you've got the red handle under your seat that you could pull and save your butt whereas you don't have that with aircraft so flying below 50 meters with a fixed wing aircraft or with a helo is dangerous and that's why they call it the dead man's curve where you've still got options and some of these tests with the uh, from the feedback I'm getting from Nirvana some of the tests have been done as low as 20 meters with the quick response that the reserve chute opens so go for the reserve chute go for the whole package it's not that heavy we're looking at 25 kilos for the whole package you get this wonderful tan uh, color scheme the khaki harness, uh, sorry, the, 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 the camouflage harness and the FC5 helmet, the instinct harness is a little bit longer than the skeleton so you're actually in a very comfortable position when you're flying this machine. So I would say this is a great package. I wouldn't, uh, personally if I could afford both I would take the instinct and the ranger. They're very different experiences but you are going to get more out of your instinct if you're looking at top speed for cross-country flying because you've got the twist air system uh, but with this machine you've got a lot of power and when you're flying localized flying uh, and you're doing the kind of rancher work farmer work you're going to enjoy having the tougher frame which will be a little bit more forgiving when it comes to your training days um, and overall transport as well so guys that's it from me I hope you enjoy the Nirvana Ranger I hope you buy the Nirvana Ranger and I'll see you on the next review. Adios.